Western Mass, as well as much of New England, is dealing with some beautiful fall color. We've had a lot of very nice weather days, and we do have quite a bit of sunshine on tap of this week. So make sure that you grab the camera and take those photos. You can uh, send them, or you can visit our website. You can go to our app and click the Share It feature, and you can upload your fall foliage photos right there. This one was taken just walking through Springfield from Angela. And then we've got this amazing view. We get a lot of photos from this area, of course, this time of year and in the spring. But the view, I believe, is from the Bridge of Flowers, and this is, of course, Shelburne Falls, which is looking absolutely gorgeous this week. So check it out. The fall foliage report that was updated yesterday, so it includes fall foliage from this weekend. You're seeing a lot more of the brown coloring here through the higher elevations across northern New England, where they've already moved past their peak. Now, we are actually drifting into peak colors here across western Mass, especially in the hills where you're right at peak. You're already starting to kind of slide past it, especially with the gusty breezes the next couple of days. We're going to have a lot lot of that uh, leaf drop happening. So I even noticed a difference from this past weekend just in my neighborhood here in Springfield. So make sure to get out and enjoy those fall colors before they're all on the ground. Next two days, it is going to be a little blustery. Both Wednesday and Thursday, we'll have some wind gusts of 20 to 25 miles an hour. So yeah, a lot more leaf drop expected. But as you can see, it's going to feel like fall 50s to low 60s by the end of the week. Plenty of sunshine and temperatures at night this week could drop down below freezing. So that's also going to throw us into peak color pretty quickly. We've got weather wise this huge spinning area of low pressure up around the Great Lakes. It's almost exactly where it was yesterday, but over the next two days it's going to be lifting to the north. Our wet weather is done. We have now got this dry cool air mass that's going to be in place for the next few days. It is going to start getting a little blustery too. We have a healthy breeze out there now, but wind becomes light to almost calm at times overnight, so it's going to be a cold morning tomorrow. We have a lot of sunshine on tap for tomorrow. Breezy wind out of the southwest again gusting 20 25 miles an hour. Little upper level disturbance comes in with some late day clouds, but they move out quickly and we should again keep mostly clear skies for tomorrow night. Might have a little bit of fog developing across some of the high terrain. And I think tomorrow night we may have more of a breeze, so the frost threat is lower, but it's still going to be very, very cold. And then as we go into Thursday afternoon, we're again sunny and breezy. Now wind should finally become lighter for Friday night and we're going to wake up again to full sunshine or excuse me, Thursday night and wake up to full sunshine Friday morning, but we still have that breeze. It'll be lighter, but it'll still be there. So as we take a look at your forecasted highs for tomorrow, it should be the coolest day of the week, minus, of course, yesterday's wet weather. But we're hitting lower to middle 50s tomorrow. And with the wind, it's going to make you feel a little chilly, especially with all that dry air in place. But that does not look to linger. In fact, we have a pretty significant pattern shift coming up. The six to 10 day temperature outlook throws New England into a very high probability of above normal temperatures, and it looks to last even past that. The 14 day temperature outlook has a high probability of above normal temps. That'll bring us all the way to the end of the month. So right now it's trending warm all the way through Halloween and even November 1st. So it's cool the next two days. We're back to seasonable temperatures on Friday, but then we're talking highs in the upper 60s for the weekend. Monday cools off a little bit with some showers, and then the rest of next week trending much warmer than normal. Chris and Mary.